Welcome to Gadi Ki. We are currently at Varna Industrial Area in Goa to experience the all new Citroen C3. Citroen started its journey in India by launching its premium offering C5 Aircross SUV. Now they are bringing in the Citroen C3 into premium hatchback segment, which is a very competitive mass market segment. Does this car have what it takes to compete with the likes of the Maruti Valano Hyundai i20 and Tata Punch? Let's find out in this review. The Citroen C3 looks pretty stylish and premium overall. How does it look from the front? The stylish chrome strape across the front grille flows into a chevron emblem. This blends really well with the aesthetics of the car. The dual LED DRLs are positioned uniquely and splits distinctively in the front. The car gets halogen headlamps and halogen based fog lamps are housed inside these orange styling element which is pretty eye catching. The car gets a higher bonnet than a typical hatchback which gives it a SUV-ish look. Overall, it's a lovely car with refreshing looks. There are four monotone colors and six dual tone colors for you to choose from. When it comes to side profile, the car gets a thick cladding across its length and a strong wheel arches. The C3 features 15-inch alloy wheels. One could customize the alloy wheel styling as well. At the top, the car gets a very funky looking roof rails. The colors are customizable. The door handles can be either body colored or with chrome depending on your liking. The ORVM colors can also be customized as per your liking. There is also a stylish element added at the bottom of the front door which again improves the looks of the car. How does the new C3 looks from the back angle? The rear side of the car carries a pretty minimum design. At the very center, the Citroen Chevron brand emblem has been embossed. Also there is a C3 badge on the right side. The C-shaped tail lights is somewhat similar to C5 Aircross's tail lamp design and it extends up till the boat door. The exhaust styling elements look pretty nice as well. One can also add spoilers by choosing a customization pack. Important to note, the C3 does not feature a rear wiper even in the top trim. Let's get inside the car. You can notice a very large 10 inch touchscreen infotainment system at the center. There are these nice design patterns on front dash. It feels very roomy from inside. You get to see good view of the road and traffic from driver seating position. The steering wheel can be adjusted for the height. The quality of materials, overall look and feel inside the car is top notch. C3 features a very small but readable MID. The MID displays a prominent gear indicator, speed, distance to empty and other useful trip information. USB and 12V socket are present for front passengers. Connectivity features like Bluetooth and wireless Android Auto works flawlessly. Two to three people can easily sit at the back. The legroom and headroom is decent enough for a car of this size. The rear seats comes with an integrated headrest. The seats are made of good quality fabric material. The one touch power windows for rear doors has been positioned in the middle instead of mounting on doors. These There are accessible pockets on the seats. Two fast charging USB ports are also offered for the rear passengers. The back seat is fully foldable which can provide additional room for more items at the back. The car offers a very large 315 litre boot space to keep your luggage. We got to drive two cars, the one powered by 1.2 litre naturally aspirated engine variant as well as the turbo variant. The heart of the car is engine and Citroen has done a great job by offering two options for its customers. The PureTech 82 and the PureTech 110. The smaller 82 PS PureTech engine is mated to a 5 speed manual transmission gearbox whereas the bigger 110 PS engine is mated to a 6 speed manual transmission gearbox. There is no automatic gearbox on offer at this point in time.
Coming to the driving performance, steering control was neither stiff nor hard, it was just right. Riding on highway was great, one can make the full use of 6-speed gearbox on highways. Driving through the tough humps without hurting your back is a superpower offered by Citroen in the name of flying carpet effect. This well-engineered suspension system works as advertised. Extremely useful for you and your family for a stress-free travel experience. Citroen claims it offers theatrical view for rare passengers. The pickup was good in turbo variant when compared to small engine. Top speed which we were achieved is 140 km per hour. The car offers two safety airbags in front as standard option. If you are at the rear seat, you would enjoy the comfort offered by this car. Citroen claims a mileage of 19.5 kmpl for turbocharged and 19.8 kmpl for normal engine. The car gets a 30 litre fuel tank. Who should buy the Citroen C3? It is for someone whose primary requirement is comfort, refined driving experience and high quality suspension. The car offers a comfortable experience not just for the driver and also for those who travel with you. Here are some good things. Good suspension with flying carpet effect, AC cooling effect, two engine options, design details, wireless standard auto, plenty of space. All this makes it a good car. However, Citroen misses on tech features like no start-stop engine button, no parking camera, no taco, no rear wipers, no electrically adjustable mirrors. For those who want this, can always go for off-market options. This car is ideal for those who prefer comfort and high quality driving experience over tech features. A very good attempt by Citroen to capture the segment by purely of its engineering and innovations on drive and comfort rather than focusing on tech feature list. Thank you for watching this video. For detailed information on new C3 specifications, trims, etc. Visit our website gadiki.com. If you like this video, do not forget to share.